friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this cataract is not only intumescent its nucleus is very soft let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at around 135 degree the cotton tipped jensen part supports the eyeball while the incisions are made this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the right side of the main incision about same distance away the patient is under topical anesthesia most of the surgery is unedited and now a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble and then the dye is washed out with BSS using a 23 gauge Simco cannula and now the anterior chamber is to be filled up with visco this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose filling off the anterior chamber the air bubble must be expressed out must be replaced by the visco otherwise it can cause some disturbance in capsular axis and now a 26 gauge bent needle is taken it goes through the right side port and the eyeball is fixed with utrita the eyeball should be nicely fixed the needle goes in the anterior capsule is punctured and immediately the flap is rotated to convert it into a c flap and this c flap is guided in such a way that it becomes a small rexis a mini rexis and this mini rexis can tolerate some amount of stress while removing the cortex through this small opening a 23 gauge simco cannula is being used to remove the cortical lens matter and see mm, lot of cortex uh, comes out the bag becomes decompressed and now the intralenticular pressure is actually on the negative side 2% aspmc is injected again to fill up the anterior chamber it goes and now the rexis the mini rexis is to be converted into an adequate size rexis a small cut at the margin of this small rexis utrita is taken again and the flap goes anti clockwise all around comes back to 8 o'clock and it becomes a continuous curvilinear capsular axis and now is the time to manage the nucleus some more visco and now the tip of the fecal needle goes in with its bevel down and as i try to remove some superficial cortical lens matter i can make out that the lens is very very soft and it is dangerous to bury the nucleus in such soft cataracts so here it goes tilt and it tilt the nucleus and start eating it up so when the nucleus is very soft you can just rotate it several times tilt the nucleus 
and start eating it up. This is the last nuclear fragment. FECO power used in this case is 50 percent, flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 350 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Cataryx 3 vacuum machine. This is 2 percent HPMC again. Now by the time my assistant gets ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration, I take the 23 gauze Simco which is ready, which is attached to a separate Ringa lactate or BSS bottle and here it is. Most of the cortical matter from all around is removed except the subincisional cortex. For the subincisional cortex I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration. In this case the irrigation goes through the left side board the aspiration through the right and the subincisional cortex is removed very comfortably. Yes, it is done. I find some cells from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. So I go through the right side port, aspiration from the left and in IA2 mode, I do some polishing of the equatorial part and peripheral part of the capsule from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And now is the time to implant a lens. In this case, the bag and the anterior chamber is being filled up with this Visco 2% HPMC and here goes the lens. This is a hydrophobic monofocal single piece intraocular lens. It goes through the main incision. This is the lens. This is probably Hanida. from Israel. The lens tended to tumble. The lens tended to be upside down but it was prevented and here goes the trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag. And the lens is nicely placed. The haptics are nicely placed in the bag. And now Simco was used to remove some portion of the visco and then bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used. This is irrigation of the anterior chamber. Lot of visco comes out just by irrigation push the lens, go behind the lens, irrigate the capsular bag and then use irrigation and aspiration together. Thorough removal of visco is necessary to avoid post-off rise of visco induced raised IOP. It is done. So we are towards the end of the surgery. This is a bit of moxie, moxifloxacin. And now the side ports are closed by hydrating coronal stroma on either side of the side ports. In this case, I want to emphasize that the when the nucleus is soft, it is can just rotate it, tilt it and eat it. Rotate, tilt and it. The side ports have been closed and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber with pure BSS. If we do this, if we do this final lavage, the chances of TAS is greatly reduced. The anterior chamber is nicely formed 
and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence